Meantime, tonight we're taking a look at something that many of you may already know out there. The price of rental cars right now is sky high heading into the holiday weekend. So we're going to speak with a travel expert about the issue. That interview coming up in just a moment. Marnie? Well, now to tonight's top headlines from the Hill. Senate Republicans expected to block a vote to establish a commission on the January 6th Capitol riot. Democrats now calling for Republicans to change their minds, but so far only three have said they support the measure. We want to share with you some live pictures of the Capitol tonight where a procedural vote could come this evening. Democrats need the support of 10 members of the GOP in order to advance this bill. News Nation's Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil is live in our nation's capital tonight. Joe, there was a last minute emotional plea to senators to support this. Yeah, there was. We certainly saw the emotional push this morning. We're expecting that vote to happen at some point uh, later on in the evening tonight. One senator says before midnight, so we could still have some time there. But yeah, this morning, a real passionate argument. You know, we've already heard both sides of this. Uh, maybe the most urgent argument came not from the Senate floor today, but behind closed doors. The mother and the partner of Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick had some closed door meetings making their plea to Republican senators to vote for the January 6th commission. Officer Sicknick, you may remember that name. He was the officer who died of a stroke one day after being in the middle of that melee at the Capitol on January 6th. And today, Mrs. Sicknick, his mother, says that uh, senators opposing the bill is a slap in the face because she says her son and other officers put their lives on the line to protect those very senators. This is why I'm here today. I, you know, usually I stay in the background and I just couldn't, I couldn't stay quiet anymore. We really need to get to the bottom of what happened that day so that this never happens again. Um, like I said earlier, we just really need to make sure that, um, that law enforcement officers are protected. The trauma of January 6th uh, continues to reverberate, and they need to take that seriously as well. An emotional plea, obviously, from the loved ones of the officer, uh, Officer Sicknick, Joe. Uh, your sources, I understand, are telling you that it doesn't seem likely they have the votes to pass this? Yeah, it, it seems that way right now. This may be the first time that Republicans actually use the filibuster uh, to stop uh, this bill. Uh, three Republicans have publicly said that they would uh, consider voting for it, but they're going to need 10 uh, necessary to actually pass the bill and create this commission to investigate the January 6th insurrection. There may not even be enough Republican votes at this point to start debate on the bill uh, tonight. Uh, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell told his conference, told his Republican members uh, to vote against it because he says that having this commission could hurt Republicans politically in the next midterm election coming up in 2022. And Republicans tell me that they think Democrats may even weaponize the commission and campaign on it. So they say that the uh, politics of it work both ways. A lot of politics. Joe, what happens if it doesn't pass? Does that mean no investigation? Uh, Marty, so there still will be an investigation, but it's not going to be a bipartisan commission. We've heard Speaker Pelosi say that, uh, you know, if it doesn't pass, Democrats can put together their own committees to continue investigating January 6th. Uh, but again, that would be done in Congress, maybe a select committee. It would not be this same sort of commission outside of Capitol Hill. So that would be the important difference there. Nonetheless, there will still be some investigating to do, regardless of what happens tonight here uh, in the Senate. Marnie. All right, Joe, you'll keep us posted. I know. Appreciate your time. Live tonight from Washington, D.C., Joe Khalil.